So Paul says, if you want to be justified by the law, you are cursed. Here's the play on words, he says. He says, you're cut off from Christ. You're severed from Christ. Do you see the analogy? He's saying, you think that you go up to the chopping block and say, Galatian pastor, heresy man, I, I want to join the club. I want to become holy. So chop off my foreskin. Then I will be holy and that will be the accursed portion of the flesh. I mean, we've all read Deuteronomy. We know how this works. Don't look at me with those eyes. I just said the word. It's in the Bible. It's okay. Uh, and so he comes over. I want to be holy, so chop off the accursed part of my flesh. Paul says, don't you see what happens? You walk up to that block. You get chopped off. You become the accursed part. You just got severed from Christ. Colossians, he calls the cross the circumcision of Jesus Christ, where he was cut off from God in our place. In Galatians 3, he says that Jesus was cursed in our place. Don't you see? If you get circumcised as a way to try and merit your way to heaven, you get cursed instead of Jesus. You become the cut off part and you have no benefit in Christ. You've been circumcised away from his circumcision. You will suffer. You are accursed. And then lastly, we can say this in Paul's language at the end of verse 5. You have, uh, sorry, verse 4, you have fallen away from grace. And we shouldn't try and squeeze out of this a kind of theology that you can lose your salvation. He's saying that if you pursue works for the basis of your justification, then you can forget any idea that you ever were unified to Christ. Because that's not what a Christian does. Oh, I know, the Galatians have been, have been tempted, and, and they've been twisted, and they've, they've been misled. But Paul is confident, which is what he says in the next few verses, I'm confident that since you're a genuine church, you won't follow this anymore. And if you do, then you're not a genuine church. You're not some of my disciples. As, as he said back in Galatians 4, I guess I labored over you in vain. You are still dead in your sins. This is a threat. This is a pastoral warning if you pursue the law for justification because you can see in that an upgrade from the gospel that I preached. Well, I preached grace which gets you to heaven. So you can forget grace and you can forget heaven. People want to mix the two. They want to say, I'll do the law. I'll do the works. And if there's any failure, God, just fill it up with grace. God says, no, I don't give grace through the law. If it's by the law, you must be perfect, no grace. Perfect, no mercy. Absolutely perfect. No mediation or no mitigation. Absolute. If you want grace, you get all grace. If you want grace, you get no works of yours. If you want grace, you let go of your deadly obedience that you're trying to impress God with and you cling to Jesus Christ, the only lifesaver. 